Hello, I'm Gene Overholt. I'm one of the authors of the study CA1119, a tumor marker for the diagnosis of colorectal cancer. My plan today is to review the study with you, including how we did this and the results. And then at the end of the discussion, I would like to add a few personal comments about how this research study can potentially influence the practice of gastroenterology and cancer of the colon detection. There were 522 patients consecutively enrolled. Of that number, 47% were men, 53% were women, the average age was 56.6, and 79% of the patients were above the age of 50. Of that 522 patients, the final diagnosis, including a diagnosis with colonoscopy, divided these patients into five categories normals, hyperplastic polyps, other digestive diseases that were benign, adenomatous polyps, and colon cancer. Of that group, there were 103 normals, 87% were negative. Of the 41 hyperplastic polyps, 83% had a negative CA1119. Benign GI diseases, 182 patients, 83% negative CA1119. We had 65 patients with adenomatous polyps. 40% of those were positive. That's a small number, but it does show detection of adenomatous polyps. For colorectal cancer, we had 97.7% positivity in the CA1119 study. That gives an overall sensitivity of this test of 97.7% and a specificity of 84%. In terms of the breakdown of colorectal cancers, we had 31 stage 1, 32 stage 2, 33 stage 3. All patients in those categories, stage 1 through 3, were positive. In stage 4, 80% of patients were positive. Overall, there was a 97.7% sensitivity for the diagnosis of colorectal cancer. Beyond the study, we tested the reproducibility in a separate, different research lab that received blinded specimens. Their results were essentially identical with those from EDP Biotech, showing reproducibility of the study from lab to lab. In terms of the clinical significance and how you might use this in evaluating a single individual patient, given a positive assay and given the incidence of colorectal cancer as determined by the American Cancer Society and the general public, a positive CA1119 will increase the likelihood of having colorectal cancer by six times over normal. Likewise, using the ACS data, a negative CA1119 increases the likelihood that there will not be colon cancer by 17 times normal. What does that mean for you and for me in practice of gastroenterology? This is a research study, and if it is validated in other institutions, if it is approved by the FDA, and if it comes to commercialization, this test, if positive, will have a very strong influence on the way you and I practice gastroenterology and the management and prevention of colon cancer. Thank you for your attention and for your time in reading the paper.